Goat and Belay line that we have in stock right now is the Infinity Hybrid Surfboard. The idea here is not to try and make a perfect surfboard. Uh, the idea is to take a hybrid with twin tip technology, which means that it's layers of material that are pressed together in a high pressure, pressure press. It's not foam core, it's wood core. So it has flex, which, you know, pure surfers like flex. But at the same time, it's durable enough that you can do airs on it. You can, you know, land hard. It's not going to crack or break because of that. Now, true surf purists, if you come to kiteboarding with a surfing background, I don't know that you're going to like this board. If you come to kiteboarding from the twin tip background and you picked up kiting first, and now you want to move to the surf side, this might be more what you're looking for because there's a thicker rail here, which is foam. It also sort of works as a grab rail if you want to do strapless airs. Pretty hefty board, it's solid, it's weighty, it's not going to blow off your feet, it's not going to crack, it's not going to break. The deck pad is full from side to side and goes up on the lip here so that you kind of stand inside the board, down low, so you get a good position. But again, a nice flex in the tip. I think if you want a durable board, a surfboard that you can, you know, again get airs with, this is where you want to go. And you can see on the bottom here, this is all the wood showing through the clear finish on the deck. So, wood core board, really nice, comes with a tri-fin setup, comes with straps, comes with a bag. This particular size is 5 foot 7, and it's narrow. Don't mistake this for a light wind board. Some people think surfboards are light wind. This would definitely not be that. This is going to be your surf hybrid, or what I tend to use the board like this for is for high speed riding. This is like the board I'll take out in flat water and do speed runs on. Um, Sometimes I just like to go fast, I'm old, if I fall down I break a hip, so for me it's about just going fast and not necessarily huge all the time, and I can't do that weight style stuff, so I get on flat water and I'll go as fast as I can on a board like this, and this is about as fast as I will get without having to buy a dedicated speed board.